What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Meg Thee Stallion. Apparently, Meg Thee Stallion is canceling her Houston show out of respect for the Astro World victims, right? In a way, throwing Travis Scott under the bus in order to hide the fact that she is having low ticket sales and she is being clowned all over social media. Now, this particular story, a lot of websites are writing about this. They're talking about how she's doing this out of the respect for the astral world victims, right? You would think it's a good thing, but if you actually do a tiny bit of research, you will understand that the tickets for astral world went on sale. The tickets for astral, world, excuse me, the tickets for Meg Thee Stallion show in Houston went on sale last month right before the astral world incident and up until now she has not in any way shown any interest in canceling that show she's canceling that show and she doesn't want people to really put two and two together because the tickets are not selling it was a 4,000 seat venue put on by uh it's a event put on by live nation and they can only sell maybe a little more than half of that with it in a month in a month you were only able to just just get half of four thousand and this is why i think this is a little bit of karma for how she left carl crawford now you may agree or disagree about the contract and how her money situation was they were basically her street team if she was still under Carl's management, that building would have been sold out. But because she went Holly weird and now she wants to be mainstream, she's a part of Rock Nation again. We see this as another Rock Nation <laughs> PR scheme because that's what this is. This is a Rock Nation PR scheme. OK, let's just be real. And this is a way to help Megan out of her own situation. She could not sell a venue out in her own hometown. It's because she has no roots there anymore. She's long gone. Now, is she doing things in the Houston community? Those Houston people don't, they don't mess with Megan like that. And Megan does not have the fan base that people think she has. She has 20 million, over 20 million some odd followers. Nobody's really checking for the music like that. You know, she, the people have, you know, she has people who are, but nobody's really going to see her. This is what happens when you are a, a media creation, when you are pushed by social media. Megan Thee Stallion has a lot of endorsements. Once again, she's another artist that we know more about her personal life than we know about her career and the music that she's putting out. This is how you know that there's two different worlds. There's the social media world. And then there's real life. And in real life, these, these industry plants, these, these people who are the media darlings, the people who get the most hype, the most push, they don't have a fan base. Outside of Instagram and Twitter, they don't have fans like that to the point to where they can't sell out a 4,000 seat venue. This would have looked bad on Meg Thee Stallion if she would have gone through with this performance and it wasn't, it was a small venue that didn't have more than half people there. Right. And this is a way for her to get out of this embarrassment, but let's nonetheless, let's get into this stereo gum article. Made to stay cancels Houston show out of respect for Astro world victims. Yeah. A month later, a month later, she does this a month later. About a month ago, 10 people lost their life in a crowd crush at Travis Scott's Houston Festival Astroworld. In the immediate wake of that catastrophe, it would appear that the world isn't ready for big rowdy rap shows in re to return to Houston. Meg Thee Stallion is the biggest and most important Houston rapper to emerge in years. Really? Oh, come on, man. Are you serious? <laughs> The biggest and most important since Travis Scott. Come on, man. She can't even sell out a 4,000. Do you see this? She can't even sell out a 4,000 seat venue. But they're talking about how she's one of the biggest and most important artists 
to come out of Houston in so long. Oh, come on, man. This, be, why, why? Because she has over 20 million followers on Instagram? Because she has endorsement deals? And she's on all these award shows? She's performing with uh, BTS? So that makes her a big deal? People are sick and tired of the twerking. They're sick and tired of the twerking, the the uh, talking about a WAP. No one cares. No one cares. Uh, let's see. She just canceled her upcoming Houston show. As the Houston Chronicle reports, Megan was booked to perform at the 713 Music Hall, a new venue in Houston. So it's a new venue. On Friday, she was scheduled to be one of the first performers at the venue in a statement to the Chronicle, though Megan says she's canceling that show out of respect for the victims of Astroworld. That could play a very, very small part in why Meg Thee Stallion is doing what she's doing. But you have to be somebody that's not very intelligent to really believe that she's not doing this show just out of the respect for the Astro World victims. And I think her saying that is another way of throwing Travis Scott on the bus because that's what it's going to look like. She could have did this last month if she cared as much as she says she did. But she did not cancel her show last year because she cared about that show and she wanted to do that show. And she thought that she would be able to sell four thousand uh, she would be able to sell four south uh she would be able to sell those four thousand tickets only able to sell maybe half in about a month so weeks go by and you still don't cancel this show you waited now because you knew the performance was coming up and you did not want to get embarrassed that's what you should have said doesn't mean that she doesn't feel a certain way about what happened and the people that lost their life i'm pretty sure that she has thought about that but this is something that you could have done last month but you didn't because you were intent on doing that show you and your management and everybody else at rock all y'all was ready to do the show and when you realized that no one cared you decided to push back, pull back. Cause you, cause that's the thing about Meg Thee Stallion, you know, and her team. They thought that because she's from Houston, that she would be able to sell those tickets. Um, you can't just be from a place. You have to be a part of that community. Those people have to be invested in Meg Thee Stallion. People in that community haven't been invested in Meg Thee Stallion in, in probably a couple of years. They haven't. They haven't really been invested in her like that. And it shows. It really does. Now, this is what she said. Uh, Out of respect for the lives lost in Houston earlier this month, I've decided to cancel my show at 713 Music Hall on December 3rd. Houston is still healing, and it's important that our community be given the appropriate time to grieve. My heart goes out to all the families that are suffering during this difficult time. Right now, fellow Houston rapper, Toby is slated to be the first rapper to perform at the 713 Music Hall. He got a show there scheduled for the 12th. So Megan, so why can't Megan perform? <laughs> she got 2,000 people, at least, I, I, from what I saw, at least 2,000 people that are ready to to party and, and watch her twerk and, and, I guess, rap. But they can't even get that. Because Meg Thee Stallion would have been embarrassed. She's a media creation, like the rest of these people, Lil Nas X, Chloe Bailey, media creations who are being pushed, but they have no audience outside of social media. This is why they're not going on tour. We don't see a Lil Nas X tour. We don't see a Chloe Bailey tour. We see spot performances here and there. As a matter of fact, Saweetie and Lil Nas X are going to be doing like a joint concert. They have no audience outside of social media. Social media is not real life. It doesn't translate. It's, it, it's easy for somebody to follow you on social media to comment and defend you. But are they going to spend money on you? Do you have that hardcore base that's going to spend money on you? Meg Thee Stallion doesn't have that. She doesn't. 
Tickets went on sale early in December, man. She could not sell out that small venue, and she was embarrassed. And she did not want people to see that she really does not have a big of an audience as she wants y'all to believe. As her fans want y'all to believe. Meg Thee Stallion doesn't have an audience, people. Meg Thee Stallion is all internet hype. People don't care about your twerking. People don't care about whatever it is, who you're dating. They don't care about your issues with Tory Lanez like that anymore. And you know what's funny? I bet Tory Lanez could sell out 4,000 in Houston. <laughs> I'm telling you, I think Tory Lanez could sell 4,000 tickets. Because he's a rapper. He makes music that people can relate to. Male or female, probably. You don't make music that's relatable to anybody except for women who are in loveless marriages who want to be out and free and for the streets or women who are strong, independent and can't keep a man who can't stay out the clubs and cannot keep a man. But they want to be complete attention seekers. That's the type of people she made music for. She doesn't make relatable music for anybody. So that's why nobody's going to that particular show in her hometown. Now, this was Cleveland. If this was Seattle, Portland, right, Indianapolis, that's different. But this is your hometown. You couldn't sell out a venue in your hometown. That lets me know that you as an artist are extremely limited and you're only getting as far as you're getting due to social media. So let me think in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.